from the Donogolo Airport in Moscow. Katie and I are flying from Moscow to Munich and then Munich to Rome today. And we're flying on business class with Lufthansa. So we're gonna be on the three by three business class planes, which is the basically have two seats and you have an empty seat in the middle. So we're gonna do a review of the business class seating, um, our experience with the lounges, and everything with flying Lufthansa on the short haul flight. As always with our reviews, we are not being paid by Lufthansa. We have no affiliation with them. Um, we're not working for them at all. These, this, is a, this is an unbiased review. Um, we book these flights with points through the Star Alliance program. And we're, just comp we're compiling reviews of all the different airlines we've flown, to show you the different options and how they compare around the world. And into the lounge we go. There is the Austrian Lufthansa Star Alliance. There's also a Swiss one, but it's closed. So we're going in here. Pretty nice lounge so far. Just like big, open, and bright. Lots of seating to look out the windows. Little seating areas around the sides. Sure. Got some comfortable seats we can hang out in. Only about a 45 minutes to kill, but be nice. The lounge itself has a nice little assortment of food, um, and there's a quiet room, there's a little office, lots of areas you can kind of hang out in. Yeah, there's a quiet room. Katie doesn't really go there. Um, and then they got these little comfortable sort of bucket chairs, and so we're going to hang out here, grab a quick little bite to eat. There's not a lot of food, but there's a nice little bit of assortment. And uh, then we head on our flight to Munich, and then uh, Munich to Rome, so we're flying two different legs. Uh, from Moscow, Domo de Dovo, to Munich, and then Munich to Rome. It'll be the same plane, so we're going to review both of them, and we'll do the lounge as well in Munich. So you get to see all what Lufthansa experiences on the short haul 3x3 planes and the lounge in Munich. <laughs> Cabin. Back. I'm so done. And you can see the bulkhead is actually pretty nice. And it's like a 3x3 three three style plane. So, a bit of information on the seating here uh, Katie is in the window, uh, I am in the aisle, and then we have a middle seat in between us. There's no one in it. Um, there's no power or entertainment system. So Katie's entertainment system will be the back of the seat. But they do have like a system where you can connect into the internet. Um, and I think they actually might have an entertainment system that way, but you can, you can connect to the Wi-Fi at least, but it does cost. So no power, no USB chargers, nothing under your feet or anything down there. There is a lot of leg room, which is really nice. Um, the bulkhead is a little tight, but there's quite a bit of leg room here, which is better than most, to be honest. Um, I'm six foot four, and I've got several inches between my knee and the back of the seat. Here are the options for the food. We have the menu here. So we get fed a full meal with dessert and everything. of wines, other beverages. So here's the meal, this is the cod. So the cod meal here, and the salad with burrata, cheese, and dessert. And over here, Katie is drinking a nice glass of water with the beef and the salad. We've arrived in Germany, Munich, yay! We're heading to passport control most likely. I think we're gonna go through the immigration and to the EU here now, because um, we're switching to a flight. We're flying into uh, Rome next. So we've got a little bit of a layover. We're gonna go visit the lounge, eat some pretzels, try to find some curry worst, and then we're gonna head to the lounge, but the flight itself is good. It was. The 3x3 is kind of garbage. The food was really good though. The food was good, yeah. 
Service was great too. The people were all really nice. Um, <laughs> they had to deal with some. We parked on the tarmac and then people were trying to get out and then the flight attendant like freaked out. It was like a dude and he like got all mad and it was like, There was enough. like, there was a whole bunch of people that were like jamming their way into the business class seats like trying to get off the plane and they're like, no, we're not even at a gate. You can't get off. Anyways, they're like not even like two seconds ahead of us here. But uh, yeah, it was pretty obnoxious. Flight attendants to handle it really well though. Gotta give it to them. Um, they were firm but like really kind so. And at one point I was like, I told you. Oh <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Exciting. So we're here in Munich and we're going to go into the business lounge because we're flying business class. There's a bunch of seating areas, some like lounging areas. Food options, beer, open bar. Where are we heading off to? We are going to Rome to eat everything. To eat all the pasta. We're just lined up here, we're trying to figure out where the actual business boarding is, but we're all ready to go to Rome now. We're just gonna start boarding in a few minutes. The lounge is pretty nice. It was nice and calm, nice and quiet, they had good food. So they made candy. Yeah, they had a old candy dish there, so Katie was happy. Candy bar. Candy bar. Candy bar. Candy bar. There's showers, nice bathroom, um, outlets everywhere, so you have power everywhere, bright. Um, there's some like, like recliners you can get to lay down. So it was nice. So it was overall, it's a good lounge. Um, and that was the business side. There's also the senator, which is the next level up, and then first class, which is even higher yet. So even on the lowest level, it's still a really nice lounge. We have a cluster there trying to get on, but we managed to get through it all. It's all good. Business class. It's kind of nice being able to board first. You get seated, especially when it's a full flight when everyone's be jamming their bags on. Oh, <laughs> she's, oh what is she eating? She's eating candy. <laughs> that's our plane out there. I don't know if we'll get it from the side, but that's from the front. So same thing as our last one, except for this business class is a little bit shorter. So it's only three rows. So you can see the seating is the exact same as the last one. We have three seats and the middle one is empty. So here's Katie and I. She's getting ready for her picture. Uh, middle seat empty, which is kind of nice. It's a little uh, of an extra spot for putting all your items. And you can see the bulkhead size. So you can see how much legroom there is in the bulkhead. Compared to us here, it's probably pretty similar overall. I've got lots of legroom. I can stretch my legs out, so that's kind of nice. Katie is five foot something. Five foot eight. Okay, so flew one leg already, yeah. flying the second leg now. What's overall opinion of the experience of this versus another business class you have for short haul? Um, well, the only problem would be like the three and three. Cause it's not really cozy and cushy, but other than that, I think it's good. The service and everything's okay? Yeah, really good. I don't Just like the seating's this. not comfortable. No. So you're stuck with this, you can move the armrests so you can pop this guy up. It's more space though, um, overall. But you don't have a very wide seat, it's not very comfortable. But more space overall, I think, versus a business seat in the middle. As long as you don't mind getting cozy with the paper. Very true. It's convenient that we know each other so we can stick things in the middle here, but if you didn't know the person next to you, it's a little weirder just stacking it full of both your things. Yeah. And a real quick summary here, so we're on an A320 this time, A320-200, so it's very similar, but it's slight, slight variations. Um, again, no power under the, by the seat, no USB, no nothing. So the same, exact same as the last one, just a smaller plane, or this seems like a smaller plane because it's a much smaller uh, business class. So here's our meal on this one. This is a quick short flight. I'm surprised we actually get fed. We get um, some meat, we get some salmon, and then we get some dessert and a little dessert. The food itself does not look very good, um, but the meat's actually really good. Just the salmon piece looks pretty gross. That's kind of the only thing, really. But it took an hour long flight, so you can't really complain. And there's been a medical emergency on our flight, so they've been pretty busy. Which is totally okay, no problem. Take care of the emergency. Um, we're just happy it's not bad enough that we'd have turned around or something like that. So, yeah, otherwise, 
Priorities. Priorities. We like to get from point A to point B as long as everyone is safe. We're here! We made it to Rome. Um, very excited, very excited. Yes, the person that has medical emergency seems to be okay. They said that they, she fainted, but seems to be okay now. So hopefully that's all is good there. Um, anyways, they handled it really well. Um, everything just, uh, this Lufthansa flight was, went so much better than our first time flying when we flew, like the, the nice long haul business class. The, the people here were really good service. The food was okay. The really first, good on the first, the first flight. round was awesome. This yeah. one, I think it's just that we're not cold salmon people. Yeah, could be, I yeah. Know. I don't know, but it and was it, also quick. Well, yeah, and this was an A320, so the first one was an A3, A319. So they're a little bit bigger of a plane, I think, compared to this one. Um, but, but well, these bigger business class. Good but both were really good, yeah. I, I would definitely fly them again. It sucks having the stupid three by three planes, but otherwise, not the end of the world. Service and everything else was really good. Just crummy seating. Anyhow, we will see you guys in the next one. We are in Italy. Our next vlogs will take place in Sorrento on the Amalfi Coast. So we'll see you in the next one. Italy. Check out our most recent other videos over here, or subscribe to our other channel over here.